Hello everybody, I'm Cat. I'm Blues. And I'm Breno Floss, and this is Frame Raiders. Do you know what that was? That was Brental Floss at Momocon. Yes. So, I and may or may not... he will not be present for the remainder of the episode. <laughs> because he is a busy man. He is a busy man. Uh, we would love to have him on the show one day, if possible, but we're not going to fucking pester him about it. So, here we're playing a game somewhat in honor of that. Um, we're playing this. And we're uh, pulling the same stuff from Mega Man X. We're doing this co-op. I will be the gun again, I guess. Probably. I, I feel like that works best. All right, let's begin. Um, as usual, so, Meta Metal Man first. Yeah. So as you said, you uh, met... Brennel Floss at a uh, Momocon and had several different things you wanted to say about just that whole experience. Yes, about both Momocon and specifically Brennel Floss as well. Um, I'm going to start with uh, the fact that I bought some things from Brennel Floss. Uh, two albums, including his like only 100 like copies made edition. Uh, 2016 special album and uh, Bits of Me which is my favorite album that he's like written up so far other than the 2016 special edition um, also I got a chance to hang out with him for like a couple minutes uh, which was really cool oh. you might want to pay a little more attention to the giant death drills just saying yes um like, I hung around for a minute or two, got to hear a, uh, a bit of a story that he told. Uh, this is a story of why Brennel Floss has hand sanitizer at his desk at Momocon all the time. Um, so, a few years ago, Brennel Floss was just kind of like doing his thing at Momocon, signing stuff, uh, selling posters, and albums and talking to people general like con stuff uh then nice he um he saw this this kid wearing an eye patch and he didn't recognize the cosplay from anywhere in particular um i would wager snake but that's what i always wager for eye patches here's the thing the eye patch wasn't cosplay he saw the he saw the guy the next day and said, hey, what cosplay was that with the eye patch? And then that he was, was the like, pink eye cosplay. <laughs> yeah, he said, oh no, that wasn't cosplay. I had pink eye and my eye patch has just fallen oh, off. Oh, that was right. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, so, Brennel Floss had shaken this kid's hand the day before uh, at a convention. And so, you know, that's. That's a bad, first of all. There we go. Um, and he didn't get the pink eye. His girlfriend at the time got the pink eye. Huh. So, that's a thing that happened. I'm a little rusty, and co-op is weird. Is this why I was beating you in the thing? I was doing better in the thing, the thing that we weren't going to mention. We both played this at some point. Yes. Um, and I was kicking your ass at it. Despite were, like, having never played it before. <laughs> so. That is why he brings uh, hand sanitizer to conventions. And I want to say. Brown Floss is a really nice guy. Like really cool. Uh, had only nice things to say about everyone. Um was really patient with everyone that I saw at the convention uh, that surrounded him. Uh, there was Did one... I kill him by shooting nothing? Because I shot, like, yes. the air above him. Possibly. Oops. <laughs> um. Yeah, that E-Tank isn't worth it right now. <laughs> Apparently life isn't worth it either right now. <laughs> 
Okay. Things are gonna get easier after we defeat Metal Man. I demand that you call this episode Suicidal Mega Man. Just because of that. <laughs> or not, I don't know. Something funnier might happen. Um, so he was a really cool dude. Uh, also met Thomas Fishbach, that was nice. Uh, the general convention situation was really cool. Um, and I just want to say that on a musical level, uh, Bruno Floss has been an inspiration for me for a very long time. Uh, just as a whole. And I, I share his love of video games, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be running a Let's Play channel, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, whee! Otherwise you, uh, wouldn't have such clear skill at this game. <laughs> Shh! I have beaten this game so many times, it's not even funny, I don't know what's up. Um. So, he's a really cool dude. Thomas Fishbach is a really cool dude. Um, like, I had fun. I don't have any complaints about the convention. Um, I do have things that I wanted out of the convention that I didn't end up getting because of the fact that... Dodge better. It's got like, there we go. Fuck. Yay. <laughs> Progress. <Great> start. <laughs> Progress. Um... Is it fast forward time to the... Back to the boss? Yes. Or cut. It's, it was a really cool thing. I wanted to meet Pro Jared there. He was there, but not on the day that I was there. I also wanted to meet uh, Doug Walker, but again, like, I A, didn't get into the panel that he was hosting. B, didn't know he was there till the day of. The reason that I was at Momocon in the first place was because Raven had an extra ticket that, like, someone bailed on her. And so I get a call that wakes me up at, like, noon. And, which is early. It's early for me. Um, well, I, I wake up at, like, four, so. <laughs> and you guys um, pick which four. <laughs> Both are accurate. Yeah. Um, so, Raven wakes me up, and she's talking to me about going to Momocon. So I immediately just put on a Link, uh, shirt. A Legend of Zelda Triforce Spring shirt from a loot crate that I have. Uh, and a Luigi hat, and picked up my super bootleg Master Sword. And called myself the, Luinky. That I hate you. <laughs> That's the reaction I get a lot of the time, actually. Did you get that from uh, Raven when you uh, announced that? Yes, actually. I feel that's the appropriate response. So you were saying about uh, your adventures? Um, saw a bunch of like JoJo cosplayers. They were okay. Uh, like they were all really elaborate. You, you told me about um, kind of pudgy Jotaro, uh, Twig Dio, and fucked up hair Abdul. Yes. There were also a lot of furries. That's not really relevant, I guess. All right, we're back, guys. And the dead air or whatever gives room to like actually fast forward and all that. Yes. Hello. So, it is Metal Man. So, what about the uh, other cosplays and all that? You said there were there were a like lot of, fifty Harley Quinns. There were a lot of Harley Quinns of every different type and. A lot of them were kind of annoying, and I don't, I don't mean that in like a bad way, but like behavior seemed to come from them that I expected more out of Deadpool cosplayers. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the Deadpool cosplayers were all really nice. <laughs> from how you put it earlier, it seems as though they were like way laid back for uh, being Deadpool. Yes. I don't think I can press pause while you're shooting. I was trying to get an E-Tank out of that. Hmm. Well, you can, like, announce that you need to do that, then. Because I do Ooh. have that whole, uh, built-in turbo thumb attachment. Now might be a good time to do that. Yep. 
Is it, like, shameful to have to use an E-Tank on Metal Man? Nah. This is, uh, hard mode, so... Is it? Yeah. Oh. Never mind, then. I mean, I'm not gonna use that as an excuse for my fucked up jump earlier, but... This is hard mode. Or... The only mode as, uh... As the Japanese known, known. in Japan. Um... And we get equipped with Metal Blade. Yay! That um, has a hyphen in it. Yes. I never noticed that, ever. So we're gonna use Metal against Wood. Okay. Now... We need to establish some ground rules with the uh, Metal Blade thing. Cause, okay. like, you still need to move and all that, but... Do I aim the metal blade, or do you do that, or what? I'll aim the metal blade when we use it. Um, Cause we do stay stationary when we use the metal blade, by the way, so oh. I'll have to be... That's kind of a, like, handicap for us right now, is that normally metal blade would be the thing that people use. But, but with us, it's a danger. It is a danger. Um, so I'll have to tell you. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll have to tell you when to, like, fire to an extent. Assuming I don't just, like, throw them endlessly at things. Indeed. That went way better than I expected it to go the first time. Yeah, the, the, this one's the one that I thought was more of a, uh, pain. Also, uh, what exactly are these? Like, wolves? Uh, or... I guess. Uh, uh, Weigers? Hmm. The Wily Wolves? <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a time where I'm gonna have you use the Metal Blade real quick. Wanna, like, give me that? Oh, right. I'm in control of doing that. Okay. Okay, I gotta... I don't think... I gotta get in. There. Just shoot the crap out of him. Crap. Hmm. Oh, well. Yay! <laughs> I was gonna say that was long enough, but it's only been like 15 minutes. Yep. So, I don't think... Let's go. Fast forwarding's necessary this time, because... Yeah. We realistically didn't... Okay, fine. Don't attack anything. Those rabbits have always been the bane of my existence. Yeah, they... No matter, like, how fast you shoot them, it seems that you can't kill them before they get at least one carrot Hit. missile. Yeah. Back on the subject of Brenna Floss, though, he's a cool dude. I hope he's watching right now, because I've, I've definitely sent him this video in a tweet. Unless I forgot to do that. Future Cathy, remember to do that. It would be funny to me if this video were up for like a week or something and <laughs> you didn't even know. Because you didn't do anything. Um. Like. Whew! Hmm. Best case scenario, Brental Floss is watching this and he likes it. Worst case scenario, <laughs> he actively hates us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to... You probably should have started with that method. Yes. All things considered. <laughs> well. <laughs> top level strategies. Do you want me to, like, take full control? No. Since I was better at this? No, I... That would be cheating. We've, we've... Do you want to put on the metal blades before we see it this time? Probably. God damn. Um. Ah, I was hoping to get some health out of that. I was assuming you'd just go down the ladder. Well, you know, uh, Mega Man stuff in there 
farming for resources. It's like, uh, it's jump and farm, man. Hmm. What would Mega Man's, uh, farming power look like, do you think? <laughs> It'd be like a pitchfork that extends from his Mega Buster? Yeah, probably. Like, he gets a, uh, straw hat or something? I was completely unfocused that entire run, though. Do you wanna, like, have a coffee or something? I've already had a coffee today. Do so you want another one, maybe? I am not going to stay up all night if I have to get up at 8 a.m. to feed Mason's cats. I mean, whatever, that's your call, but, uh,. Maybe you should pick up the slack a bit. You can see I am picking it up. We went without getting hit that entire time. Hmm. Also, why do the tails look like they can shoot something? But they don't. Yeah, it's no clue. Maybe they're used for transportation? Uh... How so? Uh, rocket jumps. <laughs> that is where you put those, generally. Okay, go. Those do go in the tail. We're good. I think this is the checkpoint, in fact. Not that it matters, yeah. we were like on our last life, I think. Yeah. I was gonna say though, that does uh, make sense. Metal Man's thing is kind of required for this, actually. Okay. Just because of all the aiming you have to do at bats. Oh, these guys. Let's I see. always forget their jump arc. Go! Like. Things like that make me sort of consider that, like, maybe I should be the one to aim the metal blade. As long as you're clear about, like, when shooting it will happen. Yeah. Because, like, whoa. <laughs> he, like, freaked out for a second there. Oh, uh, I don't think that got on the capture because it's only 30 frames per second. Well, rest assured, he, like, flipped back and forth. <laughs> he was having none of this. I think we can beat this level before the before end of this it. episode. Alrighty. I believe in us. Alright. Go. Go. I keep forgetting that I don't need to be, like, cautious about throwing hundreds of them. Right. Go. All oh, right. Cause like, are we gonna have me aim them or what? Um. Yeah, you know what? You be aim. Go. Cause. Again, since we stop anyway. Yeah. Also, a way you can sort of get around that is like jumping about. Yes. Can you... Yeah, I just saw him do it. Never mind. Okay. I was gonna ask if you could uh, throw it in different directions while jumping, but... It happened. So yeah, I watched I, it with my eyes. I had fun at MomoCon. I hope to go again next year. Hopefully, what? like, with more of the group. If we did that, what sort of, like, thing do you think we would do? Because I personally would be in some sort of costume. I don't know about the rest of you, but... I'd want to do a group cosplay of some sort. Hmm. Okay, now. My, uh, initial vote would either be for something I already have done, more or less, or something that I could, uh, put together quickly. That was weird. 
because um, like I already have a uh, Professor Stein set up, right? Um, and I think I could pull together like old Joseph if I wanted to. Um, I don't know if Raven would want to do either of those. She's not a fan of either of those particular She's things. Okay, about Soul Eater. Um, I also she... have no clue if Mason is a Soul Eater person at all. Uh, I actually don't remember. He knows enough. Like, he recognized the Lord Death voice. He could be the Lord Death. <clears throat> what the fuck are you talking about? I'm Lord Death. <laughs> Wait, they're, they're invincible. Oh. I forgot about the uh, Robo Ostrich things. Okay. How many lives do we have? Oh, we we're set. To keep our full. Okay. Cool. See, we have to talk about dressing as things we're not. <laughs> we could do a uh, a Mega Man based. I don't. <laughs> I don't think that would. Uh... <clears throat> First of all, it'd be too much work. Uh, second, unless we picked, like, one of the more normal proportions uh, games to work off of, it would look weird. Because, uh, like, if we chose this Mega Man, much as this one is cool, uh, it would look weird with, like, actual person proportions. Yeah. I know because I've seen it. We could just dress up as our, like, pixels. I mean, I... You wouldn't be doing anything, though. I would have cat ears. I would have to construct a helmet. Because I still haven't. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> Ruining the illusion and shit. You would have to put on cat ears. Mason and Raven would do literally nothing. Mason would put on, like, an Organization 13 robe. Maybe. Depending on how much of the sprite is shown. And Raven would just show up exist. All, show up all dressed up. Alright. She would exist. Thank you everybody for watching. I've been Cat. I'm Blues. Thank you, Brental Floss, for watching. If you're watching, are you watching? And also for providing <laughs> your beautiful voice for the intro thing. Yes. Um I will put a link somewhere to Brental Floss's content. I know an advertisement from us isn't necessarily um, gonna boost Right him. here over Quick Man. <laughs> yes! Yes. Quick Man actually kind of looks like Brental Floss if you, like, change the color scheme a little bit. Make the, like, skin color parts into a beard and, like... Make the not skin color parts into skin color parts? <laughs> yeah! And also maybe do something about the giant, uh, <laughs> thing on his face. What? No, he has that, I'm sure. It's just more musical note shaped because he's a music man. <laughs> Heat man kind of just looks like, uh, looks like me early in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. You probably should have cut it before the heat man <laughs> bit. Just as a thought. So, I'd say we need to up our game a bit for subsequent episodes. <laughs> yeah. Just looking back on things.